Dude, what a truck, man. This is one of my favorites. This almost looks like the after shot, honestly. We'll put like some tire shine on it. Dang, man. Woo. I love that I'm already inside of this truck. This is water, so if anybody steals fuel from me, it'll be like instant karma. <laughs> Liquid X or foam, or what's your preference? I don't know, we get stars and stripes, the, the frame and everything like that. The cab's yeah. a little tough because of the flat black. If you want to turn on the tactical light, it's this button right here, you just tap it. Oh. There you go. Oh. Yeah. That actually helps out. It helps a lot. I mean, I, I have a lot. lot of lights in here, but I'll tell you what, uh, you can never have enough light. crazy the the stars and stripes like frames and stuff like that all the hard to reach areas yeah it does a good job you're gonna do snake oil next so this is what i'm curious about the flat black paint you know i mean it really holds the water so i want to see what snake oil will do on there <laughs> Think of that, it actually that's, worked. That's pretty sick. Hopefully it looks okay when it dries and there's no issues or anything. Do this. <laughs> it's literally called oh. turbo boost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that came out nice. A little heavy. Works great. I, uh, I used a gas-powered backpack blower for a couple minutes. The whole place smelled like a lawnmower for a week after everything. Yeah, but that thing blows just as hard as a backpack. It one. does. It blows really well. It looks like it came out good. Yeah. No real issues, I don't think. The aluminum, the wheels, the stainless came out perfect. Typically, I get kind of like these like streaks where it runs down, but after we did the snake oil, it hasn't. You want to juice up the tires? Yeah, I can finally give you that tire shine I owe you from the <laughs> truck show. Oh. There we go. It's pretty soaked. What do you think, Conan? The glass, just even with this wet, with the snake oil on, it's like perfect. Like you just wipe it off with a wet rag. So both snake oil and awesome sauce work very good for glass. <laughs> so that's been uh, a home run for sure. Nice, man. Yeah, that matte black looks sharp. Yeah, aluminum looks nice. I'm getting into your shot. Okay. <laughs> Came out good. It's amazing, you know, at first glance it's not dirty, but then like when you clean it, it's like, oh right. wow, that looks really nice. Right. Well, we're sitting outside in the rain, so you get the splash all over the tires and everything on the deck plates. I love this, man, this is so nice. Is this T-Rex urine? That's Mr. Clean, it's literally for the dog, which he misses. <laughs> Everybody gets real curious about that one.
nice, man. I love the lights. These are so nice. Looks pretty cool in here. Right? <laughs> clean off that one bug. <laughs> we'll clean off the bug. You guys normally use stars and stripes, you were saying, right? Every time, yeah. So this thing looks like it holds up really nice. That's and good. with the other trucks, everything gets stars and stripes. That's super cool, man. Nice to see such like high-end stuff getting cleaned with my, my soaps. I appreciate that quite a bit. Cause like this kind of aluminum is very easy to mess up. That was my goal with stars and stripes, was making sure that nothing like this ever got damaged, you know, at least we can help it. You know, obviously the rules are you just don't let it dry before you rinse it, especially if it's hot outside. Yeah, I would try to do one side at a time. One side at a time is yep. perfect, yeah. Yeah, look at these headlights, huh? That's cool. Yeah, this is a tribute truck for my grandfather. Yeah, I saw that one. This yeah. one's for Pops, so that's that yeah. That's pretty cool. Something for him. Told Kyle, have at it, nice. and he did a beautiful job with everything. I mean, a lot of the, the little touches and everything else that he has on it. The inside, too, we did the seats and Oh, wow. Stitch all our logos in the seeds. And then the back, like nice. all this, Kyle did for here too. You know, all these cutouts. Shifter knob and the buttons, they have our G marbled right into them. Just a little bit of film on it. What we'll do with this one is we'll, we'll coat it down with snake oil. That'll go up with the body. Oh, stars and stripes underneath and then bring it back down and then do the rest of it. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there was some mud on there, huh? Yeah. Nice, yeah, there's still a couple feet above it. I like the light. Yeah, the light helps a lot. Everything's all painted the same color, the frame, everything. That's so nice. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Next thing would be snake oil. Okay. You got this. We need to dry it off. There you go. It's a pretty nice shortcut. I, I love this thing. Oh, look at Kyle go. Yeah, no, right? I think a brush works probably the best, honestly. Yeah, I had to make that. So it was. So can I buy that from you today? I mean, I guess you probably. I mean, might as well, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. I mean, I don't even know what I would charge for it. That's the valve for the PDS. That's the. It's a professional dressing system uh, replacement end. I got it from Cleanright, I think. What yeah, you just. Like I do that? it like that. I hold it up there and then I just squirt it occasionally with the lever. Yeah, I, I like the gloss finish. Yeah. Oh, you're going crazy with the tires and the trim. This is the hand trim part, yeah. Ha, 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 ha.